This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the CS Fundamentals course, and I'm on the lesson for Loops with B, Puzzle 11. Now let's combine the counter variable with a math block. Ooh, okay, this is going to be tricky. How can you use the counter variable to navigate this garden with the fewest number of blocks possible? All right. And they want us to use no more than 14 blocks. We currently have one on the board. All right, so let's start off by just taking a look here. I need to move one and get three. I need to move two from there and get six. I need to move three from there. Okay, so wait a minute. I'm going to just do this out so I can see a pattern if there is one. Okay, so move forward and now get nectar one, two, three times. Now I would turn... left move forward twice once i move forward twice i need to get nectar six times that's a lot okay and then once i move do that i would want to turn left And oops, turn left. And then I'm going to go for three. Wow. And get nectar nine times. Okay. So what's happening here? Move forward. Oh, I have two. So each time I move forward one more because I was about to move forward three, right? Okay, that makes sense. And then now nectar, get nectar. I add three to it each time. So three, six, nine, twelve. Okay. Okay. So let's start with our counter. I have a rough idea of what's happening. A loop. But ah. Now, what do I want to start at? Well, do I want to do movement or the amount of nectar? Hmm. Let's do movement. So I need to move one, and then what do I need to go up by? One, two, three, four, five. And then I need to go to five. And so each time we'll just add one, right? Move one, move two, move three, move four, move five. Okay. So counter is going to start at one. It's going to go to five, and we're counting up by one each time. Now, what do I want to do? Well, first, I know. If I'm using counter that way, when counter's one, I'm going to want to move forward one. The next time through, I want to move forward two. Let's see if this gets us around. Oh, wait. After each time, I'm going to want to turn left, I think. Let me try. Oh, I need to start by turning left. Yep. Perfect. Because, and the reason this works is right now when this starts, counter is equal to one, right? We start at one, we turn left, so, and then we go forward counter times. Well, counter's one, so just once. Now, droop, counter's going to be equal to two, and then we're going to turn left. And remember, counter, we added one to it now, so it's equal to two, so we run that once, and now we're going to move forward the second time. And then we hit this, counter was 2, so we go up by 1, counter's now 3, we then turn left, and we move forward counter times, which is 3 times. So, we got that part down. Now, the getting of the nectar. What I'm going to want, I think, is another loop. Now, I can try to get it counter times. The problem is, is counter is not enough, because we're only going up to 5, and this goes up to 15. So, how can we use counter to be equal to this each time. They told us, they gave us a bit of a hint with the math block. So counter plus what? Well, one plus two is equal to three. And then when it's two, two plus four is equal to six. And then three plus six is equal to nine. That's different every time. And we know it's not subtraction. What if it was multiplication? 
1 times what equals 3? Three. 3. 2 times what equals 6? When counter is 2, how, what should we multiply this by to equal 6? 3. When counter is 3, right, because we move 3 up, what should we multiply 3 by to get to 9? 3. So each of these, if you multiply counter by 3, we should be able to get nectar enough. So I'm going to walk through this first. Counter starts at 1, we turn left. Now counter is equal to 1, so we are only going to move forward once. Then we're going to drop below and hit this loop. 1 times 3 is 3, so we'll get nectar once, twice, three times. Now I hit the loop, and we take counter from 1, we increase it by 1. So counter is now 2, and I turn left. And now I should move, hit this, repeat counter times. Well, it's two times. So once, then twice. Now I'm going to hit this, repeat counter times three. Well, counter times three, counter is two. So that's six times. So I'm going to get nectar once, twice, three times. All right, let's give the whole thing a try. Yes, that one is tough, and this is some complicated code. So if you're actually getting this and following along, you need to pat yourself on the back. That is not easy, really. Awesome. All right, let's keep going.